the geese stop off on their way south to North Frisia, undeterred by the wind turbines that have been here for 20 years. Hans Detlef Federsen helped set up this wind power station. He's a farmer, but just about the only crop he has time for now is the wind. He says that wind farming has been expanding and can now be seen as a profitable economic development for his region. Twenty-five wind turbines stand tall in this little municipality. It's a community wind farm, meaning almost all the 170 residents who mortgage their farms have invested millions to take part in the project. Even Federson, who is now the CEO. The wind farm makes an annual turnover of 5 million euros. The farmers have become an energy company. It begins with setting up energy production in a democratic way, so that everyone can shape policy. Each investor has a say about which bank will finance it, what areas we have at our disposal, how will the land use planning be decided in the council. In the end, it's about sharing the money among everyone. And it's worth their while. In a good year, the park will yield a 10% profit. Part of the money is then reinvested into more turbines. Hello, Herr Goller. Moin. Moin. Wie lange sind Sie jetzt schon hier? Federsen organizes the building work. This spot is reserved for a more powerful wind turbine, which will cost 4 million euros to build. The energy produced by the community wind farm is distributed in the surrounding area to 30,000 households through power lines. But there is not sufficient infrastructure to provide energy in the south, so a bigger power grid is planned for construction on the west coast of Schleswig-Holstein. This is the point where the residents might need some further persuading. We brought almost 100% of the population of our community around to wind energy and we'll try to transfer this model of the community wind farm to the grid. The people who live near or under the grid should have the opportunity to participate and that means they'll also have the opportunity to profit. The renewable energy will be transported from Schleswig-Holstein to South Germany. A meeting is taking place in the town of Husum to discuss the matter. Here, the North Frisians are wind energy pioneers. In the meantime, community wind parks have sprung up and Schleswig-Holstein has made a good business of exporting wind energy. The new grid is the next step, but with a price tag of 200 million euros, it will need citizen support. This is something that concerns the network operators who hope to profit from the venture. The question is, how can the citizens take part? How can the whole project be installed as a social or business model? That has to be clarified. Would you recommend buying shares? I think it's a safe investment. The power generated is guaranteed for years. We're an industrial nation that needs energy. This keeps the number of objectors at bay. Everyone wants in on the gold rush to have their piece of the energy pie and take part in the business of the future, renewable energy. Some even talk of a historical opportunity. We here in Schleswig-Holstein are the ones who can produce renewable energy more cost-effectively than anywhere in the country. We have the wind, which is even cheaper than photovoltaic and biomass. It's an opportunity to be able to bring this product to customers in all of Germany. Who would have thought that the clever farmers of Schleswig-Holstein would determine the path to renewable energy in Germany?